Welcome to Mama's Minute Movie Review. We went to see Kung Fu Panda 4. I know, there's four of them. They are that good that we actually don't mind them being four. It was funny, like Jack Black is a national treasure. I say national, he's not even of my nation. But he's a treasure, you know? He should be protected at all costs and Kung Fu Panda, the franchise, should continue. It was my eight-year-old and my two-year-old. Now, there's no songs, music or dancing and normally that's what it takes for my two-year-old to sit and watch a film all the way through. So, you know, we're on a winners when we go see Trolls. We struggled with migration. It wasn't until like the last 20 minutes that she started wanting to like go up and down the aisles constantly. Went in the school holidays and it was packed, but all the people there were with kids, young kids too. So they understood why I was being so infuriating. But my eight year old sat from beginning to end. There was no, I need the time. had her attention from beginning to end and also she does karate so the martial arts aspect i mean the whole movie is based around martial arts and we got some chuckles too especially you know the goose daddy and the panda daddy they have a great rapport going on and his friend who, who was his friend fox played by yeah I mean, I love her and everything. Raya the Last Dragon. She's got a voice that's made for animation as well. Also, she's good on her own on screen too. But it's just that raspy. You can't not identify who that voice belongs to. And she nailed it. It was a great film. Recommend. And Sadia, can you come here and give me your stars? Kung Fu Panda. Sadia stars out of five. I'll go for five. You heard it here first. Five stars for Kung Fu Panda 4.